shut the garage door. Here we go, it's a trip to Cleveland. We've got 38.1 miles of range of electricity and that's not gonna last very long. But we will keep you updated with what else we find on our journey. At the stop sign, take a sharp right turn onto Dorsey Avenue. And we're gonna take a sharp right turn. state headed for Cleveland 36.8 miles of range electricity full tank of gas basically full for 45 miles continue straight electricity I got 45 miles of continue straight ahead of me and uh, we'll take a look at the map here we go three hours 12 minutes 196 miles car says we've got 335 gasoline and 371 total 370 now and we'll check back in in a minute we're interstate bound <laughs> miles out one mile from Waynesburg Pennsylvania everyone's destination location and the map is telling us 175 miles to go looks like I've got 13.5 miles of range and I'm going to hit the hybrid vehicle button it's right down here. I'm going to hold, press and hold, and here's what happens. Hybrid vehicle mode on. I'm now using gasoline, and I'm going to save that 13 miles for when I need it at another time. Otherwise, I won't have any miles left on electricity. And if I get into a stop and go situation, well, it'll use a lot of gas instead of saving it. So. Not super efficient on the interstate, but uh, here we go. And hybrid vehicle mode is on 174 miles of range on the destination. So Cleveland. Watch out for the deer crossing. As you can see right now, it's in EV mode. We're going downhill. Even though I'm in hybrid vehicle mode, I'm not using any gasoline. And once it needs it, it'll kick itself out and turn the engine back on. But it still preserves that 12, 13 miles from the time I hit the hybrid vehicle button. And we'll always have that. Also, when there's extra, it just switches to EV mode about to go up a hill so won't be any of that but there you go by the way speed limit on this road is 55 I am not sandbagging we'll check in in a minute let's do a little paddle shifter demo in a situation where you want to use the brakes instead of using the brakes you can use the paddle shifter this is the left paddle here and if you look there'll be arrows that'll come up and those mean that turn you're, right onto Amity Ridge Road those mean you're getting a little extra regen so after a quick pit stop we're back on the road 337 miles to go we've got in here just to show you a 55 mile an hour speed limit which is why I'm going to 
like 54 not to sandbag still showing I have pretty much full tank of gas with that same 12 13 miles of electricity still rocking hybrid vehicle mode and we also set this thing on no tolls because saving gasoline is cool saving money and gasoline is cooler and it is summertime after all Pittsburgh, looking at 309 miles total range, and uh, we've made it past the airport, we're still 376 west, but uh, trucking right along, looks like it's decided to take one dot of gasoline away, but uh, yeah, pretty uneventful, right now we're looking at uh, 118 miles to go cruising along at the speed limit I'm even going faster than it says I'm supposed to even though the posted speed limit is 65 check in in a bit Okay, so to save money, we've gotten off the uh, old Jolly Four Lane, and we're going to go back down here and hit that hybrid vehicle button. Hybrid vehicle mode is off, and we're EV. This 12 miles will probably pay off in the form of less gas. Let's do it. running out of electricity but we've done several miles right now we're looking at 88 miles to go at 4.7 miles of range and we're on the open road here so we'll probably go ahead and save it hit that hybrid vehicle button again and I held it this time so now we're in HV charge mode so the engine will continue to run until I get some mileage back. And we'll check in after that's taken care of. Still out on the road. I got a whoa sign. Whoa. <laughs> uh, right outside the sparkle here. And we're turning left. At the light, turn right onto State Route 14. Then I've, turn right onto Columbiana Campfield Road. I'm going to let Siri do the talking for right now. I did charge mode for a while there. I'm back up to 12 miles of range. As you can see, 12 miles of range. And we're continuing our journey to Cleveland. At the light, turn right onto Columbiana Canfield Road.
In 2.2 miles, turn right to merge onto State Route 11 North. So a little journey into the guts of Ohio. Oh my, it's Mr. Hero. We have Hero Hut or had Hero Hut when I was younger. I think this is kind of what we're looking at. A little bit of Hero Hut action. And then back on the road. Okay, just for reference, this is the best plaza in the history of the world. It has top shot firearms, an internet cafe, and right beside the firearms in the internet cafe, of course, you have to have children's apparel and then collectibles and a Mr. Hero. So you can eat, grab a gun, grab your kids' clothes, and head over to the internet cafe and find out how much those collectibles you got were worth. on the interstate 23 miles to go 23 minutes to go looks promising 203 miles left on ye old gasoline coming up on the exit um, I've got a low tire warning super excited about that As you can see, tire pressures are low. Absolutely no change in performance or anything else. I believe it's one of two things. Either I'm down a couple pounds because of the trip, the pressure's changed because of the elevation. Or I busted a TPMS, which is worst case scenario. Now that I think I've pretty much ruled out it being a tire popped. Because if you open up these wheels, there's not one TPMS. There are four gigantic boxes inside of these wheels. And I have no idea what they do, but I promise they're expensive to replace. Oh, and if I haven't told you, the reason why we're coming to Ohio is coming up... In half a mile, turn left onto Mayfield Road. In half a mile off Mayfield Road, I believe. Turning left onto Mayfield Road. In half a mile, turn left into the parking lot. And she caught it. Quarter mile? Are we that close? And here we are. Turn left into the parking lot. Then the destination is on your right. Wham bam Tesla cam. I hope you're satisfied. Well, it does look like they're open. That's good. 
have arrived at the Tesla dealership. I'm super excited. It looks to me like customer parking is this way. And there is your Tesla dealership, ladies and gents. Welcome. Okay, so here we are and Connie's driving the Tesla Model Y. Yep, uh, I got gotcha. you on this on green. The climate control is nice too. Mm -hmm. Well, that was zero to thirty-five in one and a half seconds. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He doesn't want to come up on you, does he? Nope. <laughs> I need to go down here where I can stop at the stop light and then go from a complete stop because I don't want to stop right in the middle of... Yeah, he doesn't want to mess with you, I don't think. They really need to have a test strip like where you can stop and literally hammer it. Show them what really. Show yeah, because there's only 35 through here, and I'm sure there's probably a lot of cops. You know. Right. So this is the performance model. We were in the long range model before. Can you tell the difference? Oh yeah. Since you're here, you may have an interest in EVs. Well, trust me, I do too. If you're looking for more EV content, check out our new channel, E is for EV. Right now we're building a Volkswagen Transporter Type 2 with five Tesla batteries and a kit from EV West. You can check out the video at the top of your screen and make sure to subscribe while you're there. I'm really excited about this new channel and having a platform to discuss EVs specifically. You don't have to head over now. I'll remind you again at the end of the video. Remember, that's 
E is for EV. All right, we're going to uh, Pickle Bill at this point. I've never been to Pickle Bill, but we're heading to Pickle Bill. You like Pickle Bill? Pickle Bills. Pickle Bills. <laughs> we're not going to Pickle Bill, we're going to Pickle Bills. <laughs> but, uh, Connie, tell me about your experience with the Model Y. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. I just love it. You, as soon as you smash that pedal, you, it's, uh, comparable to the Viper and the Lamborghini, but there's no loud roar of a motor. You just go. It's like being shot out of a slingshot. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> and what concerns do you have about going electric? Oh, uh, wintertime driving with that kind of power. Um, service. Charging stations, which we have some by our house, but just making sure that, like, for longer trips. Now, you get almost, what is it, 259? 285. 285. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the way I drive, it's probably closer to 259. <laughs> yeah. But um, oh, it's sweet. It is such clean lines inside. Everything is oh, and the trunk and storage space is huge. Has a compartment in the back underneath the actual back hatch uh, floor area where almost everything that I carry on a daily basis could go and would make it look super clean in my car. And uh, you see, I'm already calling it my car. <laughs> so, sum it up in a nutshell. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely the kind of car I wanna get. All right. Well, off we go to Pickle Bills and more fuel ratings to come. Four deer in the yard. Were there, oh, wow, those are real deer. Yeah, in the, in yard. the middle of uh, Lyndhurst, Ohio. Wow. I guess Friday well, light. better it's better than the you know than the main road I guess yes. <laughs> all right so we visited the Tesla dealership in Cleveland um, our person that we talked to was excellent uh, how was the customer experience for you five star I agree it was really good and if she has any questions we've got a contact and um, my favorite part of the day was that Connie asked for a brochure and we all know that Tesla just does it all online, but uh, we'll go on and we'll, we'll have some website searching to do on, on a later date. More from Pickle Bill in a little bit. places pickle bills was affected by the coronavirus and there's like eight tables total and the wait was two hours and that's a really loud motorcycle so we decided that we were just gonna go we got some pictures I'll show you those and uh, yeah pickle bills um, my favorite part of my visit even though I didn't eat was that there was a free empty bottle of corona of all beers sitting in the bathroom on the sink and if you look up when you're using the urinal it says why are you looking up here the jokes in your hand thanks pickle bills we'll update you in a little bit <laughs> well, I'm glad I turned it on for that that is a very custom Sylvia in front of us um, I don't even know what 250 270 don't know very custom. We're getting off this exit. We're going to try to eat somewhere else. Mentor on the lake. We got Scooter's World Famous Dog House. Hot dogs. Sky Bistro. Great Harvest Bread Company. Ninja Sushi and Hibachi. Ninja Sushi and Hibachi. Wingstop. Spuddy's Tavern. Here's Truly Mentor. New China Buffet, TJ's on the Avenue. At the light, use the left two lanes to turn left.
Pick a winner. Turn off. Well, the top one is Scooter's World Famous Dog House. Fattening Sky Bistro. Great Horse Bread Company, Ninja Sushi, Wingstop. Nothing's really tickling me. Pizza, 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 pizza. They have pizza. Does it look like there's food there you might want to eat? Mm -hmm. TJ's it is. We were on the avenue. Well, we're on the avenue. Mentor Avenue. Right off of Route 2. Which, if you're curious, is really far north. Route 2. Yeah, that was Lake Erie right there at right that. There's Red Lobster. Lots and lots and lots of cars. Currently 145 miles of range. In half only a mile, gasoline. Turn left onto Mentor Avenue. Half a mile, Mentor Avenue. Showing just, just, just under half a tank right now. We've done a serious amount of driving so far. Pretty good for what we've done. We'll see how long it lasts. Off to TJ's on the Avenue. TJ's on the Avenue. TJ. Free air pressure check at that mechanic. Boy, that is generous. <laughs> I wonder if they charge you to put air in it. So TJ's on the Avenue is, I would say the epitome of an average restaurant. I got an average pizza, and if Connie's Chicken Marsala was appetizing, it could have fooled me. Boiled meat that was a little bit seasoned. <laughs> Boiled meat, but seasoned. It looked like a plate full of chicken water. <laughs> I'm glad it was edible, because it didn't look that way. 200 miles, 3 hours, and 7 minutes. In We're moving, mile, moving. Turn left onto Broadmoor Road. Should be home right at dark. Yep, should be home right at dark and 144 miles of range remaining. Light the light. Turn left onto Broadmoor Road. All right, so we're on the road. We have several miles left. 169 miles to go. Looks like the fuel has recalibrated. It's decided we have 79 miles of gasoline range, so we will have to fuel up before we get home. We will keep you posted. And a little bit of rain. This is what it looks like when you have almost no fuel in the Clarity. We'll be stopping soon. Would assume after that it's math time. We'll check in. There she is. Fuel light. We'll get some gas. Pulling into sheets. Why sheets you ask? How about a $20 sheets gift card? All right, so I guess I'll let it sit for about 30, 40 seconds, see if I can get some more gas. What you do is you let it settle, and you should be able to add some more gas. It's it's and that's it. We're 340 miles of range, $17.70 for 6.1 gallons. And we used a Sheets gift card, so actually had a $20 card so I had to buy two waters and a little bit of chocolate and here we are back on the road
Okay, here we are, Washington, Pennsylvania, on the way home. Reading uh, 271 miles of gasoline left after our last fill up. All we're waiting for now is that final number. We'll see how much we spent. Once we get into town, we'll check in in a little bit. Final numbers, we're home. This is me at the fast charger downtown, running errands, trying to get it back to full for the journey. Please hit subscribe, it helps. Thanks for watching.